have an apple juice. Mott's for the freaking win. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to go from a zero to maybe a one. Basically, you'll be going from something that's a zero to something that's a little above a zero. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. We'll see. Um, my ear's itching. Before we get started, I always just have to get my little spiel. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it. I mean, preferably, I'd rather you wait till the end of the video than make your decision. You know, just like sit there for a solid five minutes like, hmm. Am I gonna subscribe? Am I not gonna subscribe? Well, I'll help you out there. Let's help you cheat a little bit. The answer is always yes to subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's just flippity flop right on into it. <laughs> okay, I don't feel like priming today, so we're not gonna prime. You know what? I lied. I'll just use this as my primer. So we're just gonna spray this Mario Badescu spray on your face. Looks like this. Pretty cool. It's more for the aesthetic and it'll make your face smell like roses, so I guess that's a good thing. I feel like I wear like the same three shirts in all my videos, but I'm not sorry about it. So the real first makeup product we're going to use is this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Let me just give you a little close-up real quick. That was like a... Focus, please. Ew. Ew. Basically, I need a mirror. I hate looking in those, but we'll use it anyways. Um, basically, I'm using concealer not only to cover up every last imperfection on my face, but if you're really a makeup pro, you can use it to cover all of your problems, scandals if you have any, pretty much anything. Concealer is just kind of life and I don't wear foundation so I'm not going to be doing that today. And then we're going to blend it out with this beauty blender. Yes, it's dirty. Yes, I probably haven't cleaned it in like two months but nothing we can do about it now. <sighs> Ooh, you see that? Those are blemishes. I got a notification. Queen, you get a shout out. Thanks for subscribing. Illy. Shout out to you, girl. You're a real one. Why did I yell that? Um, I don't even know what I was saying. I literally don't know what I was saying. So, sorry, I'm not gonna pick up on that. Also, I'm aware this is not my shade, but it works. So, that's all that matters. Life's just about making things work, you know, being flexible, you know, just rolling with the punches. It's just all key to happiness, you know, law of attraction. You know, I feel like getting on my YouTube game. I mean, I post most of the time, two times a week, unless I'm out of town or I just, honestly, I'm always filming. I'll even like halfway edit a video and then if I just don't like it, I won't finish editing it because it's not worth my time. Yeah. I realized that what I was talking about was covering up these blemishes. Blemishes. No, honey. They're pimples you popped. I totally missed it. Oh, well. There is this fly that is getting on my head. He's literally on my head. Like, there's a fly on my head right now. Boy. Um, and I'm not gonna kill him because that's animal abuse. And I don't condone animal abuse. So, I'm not gonna kill it. It's just gonna have to die on its own. Now, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And I'm gonna bake. I bake my face because I'm an oily hoe. You know, for the average five, I don't know if that made any sense, you could probably get away with just putting powder on your face. But no, for us zeros over here, the struggle is real and we really have to just go that extra mile to bake our face. Now, you might be wondering, what kind of cake are we making today? You know what cake I feel like making today? Red velvet. We're making a freaking red velvet cake on my face. So we're gonna let the red velvet cake go in the oven like freaking so and also honestly real talk here i feel like baking looks so much better than just putting powder on and it makes your makeup just look 20 times better so do that <sighs> now the thing is you don't wipe this off you have to let it sit so we're gonna let it sit and in the meantime we're gonna do my eyebrows we're basically just gonna be putting on this Anastasia Dip Brow Favorite Brow Product. We'll always repurchase. Recommend. Looks just like this. So I'm just gonna take with my little brush, we'll swipe to that and then I wipe it off. 
and we fill in our eyebrows. Well, I had to fill in my eyebrows because I had one of those ratchet phases where I plucked all of my eyebrows out. And so I'm still recovering from that. Some kid actually bullied me and said my eyebrows were too bushy. So then I had to freaking pluck them. And then I went a little too ham. Basically, I feel like if you have eyebrows, all things you ever wanted in life, they will come to you. Like Taco Bell, for example. I feel like Taco Bell is probably on its way to my house right now. I kind of need silence while I'm doing this. So please be quiet for like 10 seconds. <laughs> What is that? What is that? I do not condone that on my eyebrow. Uh, I guess we'll just deal with it because I don't really feel like doing it. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes, which is a vital part of this tutorial. So to start, we need to prime our eyes because we want it to laugh. We need to prime the eyes. So I'm just gonna use the same concealer from earlier. Ah. Eyes are so important because you can go from looking like a grunge queen to an innocent princess in two seconds. Like one wrong move and you have a smoky eye. So we're just gonna set the eye with this peaches and cream shade right here. <laughs> Sorry, I need some apple juice. I really thought that tree, I really thought that tree. Ah, oh, my pea blender. I'm actually gonna have to lean over and pick this up. Here we go. I did it. As I was saying, I really thought that tree over there was a bush on my roof and I didn't really understand it, but I somehow was okay with it. I accepted it. I kind of feel like I should use a different eyeshadow palette than the same three I always use. I don't like branching out and trying new things. That's why I eat Donald's every single day of my life and pizza, peanut butter sandwiches, but. I like using the scented things because it gives me the glory of eating it. Wait, what? I don't know what I'm saying. We'll use the modern renaissance palette today. Okay, folks. Also, why can't Anastasia literally just make palettes the same formula as this? Like, no entiendo. We love a bilingual queen on this channel. I actually quit Spanish, so, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna use a mixture of these two transition shades and put them in the crease. Honestly, I do know what I'm doing. I'm not a pro. I used to be really good at makeup actually and then I just stopped being good at it like one day Just woke up and I wasn't talented anymore It's just gonna make your eyes pop because if you're anything like me your eyes are the one decent feature on your face So you really just want to shove that in everyone's face that hey, I have one thing on my face That's like decent. So look at them. It's like when people have that one joke They're so proud of or like that one comeback. They're so proud of they just keep saying it over over and over again until you're just annoyed by it. That's basically what we're portraying on our eye right now. You could totally stop here, but not this girl. So we're gonna take this warm taupe right here on this brush, tappy tappy, and we're gonna put that more in the crease and outer corner. I'm just gonna dig into this Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just gonna take this one right here, and Jesus, it's getting on my hand. I'm gonna take that one and put it in my crease slash outer V. <laughs> my card ran out of space, but I fixed it. I don't remember what I was talking about, but now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here mixed with the gold and I'm gonna put that on my lid and this just will make you look a little bit more mysterious and like shimmery because it's a nice gold and then you know what whenever you have gold on your eyelid people will start thinking of the Egyptian towers and who doesn't love the Egyptian towers the Egyptian pyramids oh my gosh and they'll start thinking about wow the Egyptian pyramids I want to bring her to the Egyptian pyramids and then before you know it you'll have a flight all the way to Egypt and you'll be on top of an Egyptian pyramid so now I'm gonna take same brush because I'm lazy the light white color and highlight up here the Jaclyn Hill palette is really just the best palette can we all just admit that right now if you only ever get one palette in your life the Jaclyn Hill palette needs to be it truly iconic and irreplaceable Jaclyn I don't care about what anyone says you did that and I'm still not over it we're gonna do mascara and life hack I ran out of my better than sex mascara and I didn't like my roller lash mascara the wand to it so then ba bam I just put my better than sex mascara wand into the roller lash and here we are so now presenting the roller sex mascara hurting so bad from holding up this mascara wand. It hurts so bad. Ow. 
Ow. Oh, beauty really is pain. Anyways, so now we're just gonna wipe off the bake. Oh. I have a fun funny cake in my whatever it's called and I'm gonna friggin' make it. Now, I bet you really thought we were done, but surprise, we're not. Next, we're gonna apply bronzer and I'm gonna use this Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And we're gonna carve out those cheekbones because we wanna make it look like we didn't just stay in our house all weekend or all summer staying pale. We wanna make it look like we were really out there just catching those rays of the beach with everyone and all our friends. And the last step is highlight. You know, I'm not the hugest highlight gal, but we're gonna apply it anyways. I'm gonna use this Too Faced highlighter. It looks like this. And now for lips. You could totally do a gloss. You could totally overline and fool them all. But you can fix a face, but you can't fix lazy. So I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna use this chapstick. One of my absolute faves looks like this. And that's it for this tutorial guys. It was a ride. It, it was a ride. This takes like 20 minutes. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy looking like a one now. For all you negative 10, you probably look like a zero now. So fist bump to that. Yeah, that concludes this video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment too if you're really feeling it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah. Hey, trips to the mall. I just tripped in the fall. I think I might really be the one after all. Yeah. Don't wanna rule them all. I'm the chosen one.